Hey guys, hope you're well. This is the very first lesson of grade 12 trigonometry. So, compound angles. Your teacher's been showing you these weird looking uh, formulas in class. They look pretty intimidating, don't they? I remember the first time I saw them, I was like, okay, maths look, be looking good right now. Anyway, so I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to use these formulas. They're actually very straightforward. They're always gonna give them to you in your um, tests and exams. So you just need to know how to use them, okay? And in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to use them going from from when it looks like this, and I'm gonna show you how to make it look like that. But then I'm also gonna show you how to make it look like, how to take it from this and then make it look like that. And then we're gonna do a bunch of stuff with um, special angles like 30s and 45s and 60s, okay? So we're gonna be doing things like expanding, then we're gonna do things like simplifying, and within all of those examples that I've just shown you, there's gonna be some interesting things popping up. All right, so let's have a look. All I want you to do is just look at this over here and try to tell me, or you can't tell me, but you can just like in your head, try to figure out which one is it. Does it look like number one? Does it look like number two? Does it look like number three? Or does it look like number four? Well, it's number four, because look, it's got a cos, and then it's got some angle minus another angle. Here we've got cos, some angle, minus another angle. All right, so then we ignore all of this stuff, okay? We ignore that one, ignore that one, ignore that one. And then I want you to just focus your attention on this one over here, and I want you to do your best to take it from what it looks like over here, and now rewrite it, okay? So there's an equal sign. Then it says, we must put cos, okay? So we're gonna put cos. Then it says that we must use this angle, which is this one over here. Okay, so that's gonna be, um, for us it's gonna be x. Okay, it's easy so far. Then the next thing is, it says we must put another cos. You can put the little dot there, but that's not necessary. We must put another cos. Okay, and then we must put the other angle. So what is the other angle? It's that one over there. So for us, that's gonna be a 10. So I put a 10. Then what comes next? Then it says there's a plus. Okay, so I put a plus, and then it says sin. All right, and then it says um, this angle again, which is this one, which for us was x, because that was our first angle. And then there's another sin, and then it's the other angle, which for us was a 10. And that's it, okay? So yeah, it might still be feeling a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit weird, don't worry, that's normal. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of these now, so let's go do another one. So once again, all I want you to do is look at that over here and then try to identify where do you see it over here and then just copy. So if you see it's got a sin, okay? So it's definitely not gonna be this one and it's not gonna be that one. So it's got a sin. Then it's got a plus in between. Ah, look at that, so it's not gonna be that one. So we're gonna just copy this now. So we're gonna say equals, then it says you put the, you put the angle sin, well not the angle, you put sin, and then the first angle is this one, so that's gonna be a 20 for us. Then you put the word cos, and then it's, it's this angle beta, which is this one, so for us that's a y, so we put a cos y. Okay, then the formula says put a plus, so we put a plus. Then we put cos, why? Because, <laughs> okay, that was lame. Okay, so um, this one over here, so now it says this angle over here, which for us is the 20. Can you see this is like our alpha and this is like our beta? So we're just gonna put um, 20, and then the next part says sin, okay, so we put sin, and then it says the sin of beta, which is a y for us. And there we go, that's all that you need to be comfortable with right now. Now, as I said, as we move along, these questions are gonna start getting a bit more interesting, like this one over here, it's gonna get quite weird, but also quite fun, to be honest. Uh, okay, Kevin, that's lame, trying to tell people that are learning something for the first time and it looks terrifying and you're telling them it's fun. Don't be cringy, please. Woo, what happened there? Okay, so let's move on. So, sin of 50 minus W. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna look for, so it's definitely one with sin, okay? So it's not this one, and it's not this one, and then it's got a negative. So it's not gonna be this one, because this one has a positive. So this is our 
um, the one we need to use over here. So all we do is our alpha is that angle there and our beta is that one over there. And now you're just gonna go copy this over here. So you're just gonna say sin, and then what are the, I don't know why I keep using a capital letter. Sin, um, then you're gonna use alpha, which in our scenario was 50, and then cos of um, B, which in our scenario was a W, and then we're gonna put a minus, and then it says cos, then it's alpha again, which for us was a 50, and then sin of um, the B angle, which for us was W. All right, I'm hoping by now some of you are starting to feel a little bit more comfortable and those thoughts of math literacy are slowly but surely fading away. All right, so let's go to this one now. So um, this one has a cos, so it's definitely not gonna be that one, not gonna be that one, and it's got a plus, so it's not gonna be this one, so it's gonna be this one down here. So the alpha angle, you can see over there, so I'm just gonna say that that's the same as um, the alpha angle, and then the beta angle is usually over there. Now you're just gonna go um, copy this down literally like that. So it's just gonna be cos. Then they're saying it's the alpha angle, but for us that is a T. Then they're gonna, then they put a cos again. So we put cos, and then they put um, this, which for us is a five. All right. All right, Kiev, you sound like you're from Joburg, bro. Okay, and then, <laughs> and then um, you're gonna say um, minus sin. Then it's the alpha angle, so the alpha angle is a T, and then it says sin again, and then you're gonna say um, the beta angle, which for us is a five. And there we go. So now let's keep moving on. Now it's gonna start getting interesting. So all I want you to do when you get something like this, I want you to only think about special numbers. What are the special numbers that we know? 30, 45, and 60. All I want you to do is can you make this number using these numbers? Now, Kevin, what are you talking about, dude? Are you okay? Well, what I mean is the following. I want you to take the number 75 and break it up into any of those numbers. So, for example, I could say 45 plus 30. Why? Because that does give me 75. Ah, now all of a sudden what I can do is realize that I've got this one over here. Can we agree? It's a cos and it's got a plus. So he has a cos with a plus. So now what I can do is I can go and expand it into this. So remember that this is alpha, this is beta. So here's our alpha and here's our beta. So now I'm just gonna go expand it. So it, it starts off with um, cos over here. So cos, then it's the alpha angle, which for us is a 45. Then it's cos again. And then it's the beta angle. So for us, that is 30 degrees. So we just do that. Then we're gonna say minus sin. Now alpha angle again, which is 45, sin again. And then the beta angle, which for us is 30. Now, we know that each of these from, um, those, are special, those are special numbers. Now, back in the day, um, they used to be very, so when I started teaching and all of that, they were quite strict with this thing of special triangles. Some of your teachers maybe still use special triangles. However, um, and you must just check what your teacher prefers, but what I've started noticing on the official memos for like your metric exams now is that they don't require special angles anymore. What they want you to now do, or what it looks like you can do, is you can just go type cos 45 on your calculator. So you just go type cos 45 on the calculator. So I'm gonna do that quickly, and that's gonna give us square root two over two. Okay, then go type in cos 30 on your calculator. So what is cos 30? Just type it in on your calculator quickly, and that'll give you square root three over two. And then, so as long as you just do each one individually, don't, what you don't wanna do is don't go write this whole expression on your calculator. They're not gonna give you marks for that. Go do each one by itself. Okay, so what is sin 45? That'll give you square root two over two. If you're using special triangles, it will, your, this will look different. For that, I think you would actually get one over square root two, but mathematically, these two things are actually the same. So some of you are just gonna be using the calculator, which I think most of you are gonna be doing. And then some of you are gonna be using special triangles and the answers are gonna look, or this part here is gonna look different, but mathematically it's still the same, okay? And 
Um, so now what you do is you're just gonna go handle this part here. So mathematically, you multiply top and top together, to, not together, together. Luckily, I don't teach English. And so we multiply these two together and that's gonna give us square root of six. Then you multiply these two together and that's gonna give you four. Then you're gonna multiply these two together, that'll be square root two. Then you're gonna multiply these two together and that'll give you four. Now, because these two have the same denominator, you don't cancel them, we're not busy with an equation, you can just say that the answer will be over four. It's almost like saying one over three plus, or no, let's say rather say one over six plus three over six. What does that become? Four over six. So you just keep it like that. So what is this gonna be? Well, don't say square root four. Um, it's just gonna literally be square root six minus square root two. You can't really simplify that. And so there's your answer. And what's really cool is you can go type this in your calculator and you'll see that your calculator is literally gonna give you that. Awesome. So let's move on. Okay, so here's another one. So when they just give you the single little angle over here, now this one's pretty cool. The reason is, I said that you must only use these. Now this one, you could say 60 minus 45, but some of you are like, Kevin, you could also say 45 <laughs> minus 30. Yes, you can. So which one should you choose? Well, you have to take, there's a special coin that they're gonna give you in grade 12. Um, it's called a special angle coin. It's, it's literally a five rand that your teacher just puts like a little tipix dot on it. And what that does is um, the tipix just allows the coin to flip nicely. And so in your exam, you'll take that coin out and you'll flip it. And then whatever your coin lands on, <laughs> I'm talking such nonsense. Whatever your coin lands on, that'll help you to decide if you should choose 60 minus 45 or if you should choose this one. Okay, guys, I'm talking nonsense. Choose whichever one you like. Mathematically, it is going to give you the same answer. Okay, sorry if I'm being annoying. <laughs> so you're just gonna go choose any one of them. So I feel like choose, okay, I'm just gonna quickly take my coin out of my pocket. Has it got its tipix? Yes, it does. Okay, flip the coin. Boom, okay, 45 minus 30. 45 minus 30. All right. And so, um, but you could have chosen, you could have chosen 60 minus 45. It really doesn't matter. Okay. So, um, sin. So it's definitely not this one and it's definitely not this one. And remember to stick around for the rest of this lesson because we're also gonna learn how to simplify. You see how we've been expanding? We also need to learn how to simplify. So how do you take this and then make it smaller. And we're gonna do it like that. We're also gonna do ones with special angles. So yeah, still a few more exciting things coming up. Stick with me. So um, that's gonna be, uh, which one did we say? The one with the minus, it won't be that one. Okay, so this is gonna be alpha, this is gonna be beta. Now you're just gonna go copy this. All right, and so that's gonna be, um, I really think I come from Joe, but keep saying, all right, bro, bench you for a warm up. Okay, so, <laughs> Uh, sin 45, sin 45, and then cos 30. I'm literally just copying this part, all right? And then minus um, cos 45, and then the next one is sin, so I say sin, and then it's the beta angle, which is 30. There we go. Now, remember, each of these are special um, triangles. So go ahead, use your calculator, and sin 45 will give you that cos 30 would give you that, and then cos 45 would give you that, and then sin 30 would give you that. Okay, once again, multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, then multiply the tops. I swear we're gonna get the same answer as the previous one. What was the previous question? Cos 45, oh yes, cos 45 and sin 15 are the same because of co-functions. Kevin, shut up dude, no one cares. Minus square root of mine over four, and then you're gonna end up with um, just a four at the bottom, and then square root six minus square root two. When I said the whole cofunctions thing, some of you are like, nerd. <laughs> okay, so there's the answer for that one. Let's move on. Now we're gonna start learning how to um, simplify. So now I'm giving you this part, or this part, or this part, or this part. Whereas the first part I was giving you, in the first examples, I was giving you that. See the difference? Okay, so we've definitely got a cos cos, so it cannot be this one, and it cannot be that one. We need one that has a cos cos. So here's a cos cos, and here's a cos cos. 
all right then there's a plus okay so we want the one that has a plus well there's the plus now don't get confused don't say yeah but kevin there's the plus no look here we're looking for the plus over there in between them so it's not so it's not going to be this one because this one has a minus over there so we're not going to use you um we're going to use this one so we're going to take this and we're going to convert it back to there. So it says that the answer is going to be a cause. You see there's a cause here. Then it says I must open a bracket, okay? And then it says that I should take um, this first angle. So I'll just take that angle there, which in our situation was an 80. And then it says that I must put a minus now. Okay, so I'll put a minus now. And then I must take a um, the next angle, which was this one over here. And so that's a W. Done. Okay, not too bad. We're just doing it the other way around. Now, let's try this one. So it's got a cos cos again. Okay, so it won't be that one and it won't be that one. Um, it could be any one of these bottom two. So it's got a cos cos, but then there's a minus in between. So there's a minus in between. So we're now going to use this one. Okay, it won't be this one because this one has a plus. We don't want that. All right, so now we're going to say, um, so the answer definitely becomes cos. There we go. Open a bracket, they say. And then they say take the alpha angle, which is this first one. So that's going to be a 50 for us. Then they say put a plus. Okay, so we'll put a plus. And then you put the other angle, which for us is a 10. And look at this. This will give you, what is 50 plus 10? Um, let's quickly work out the calculator. 50 plus 10. Ah, my calculator says it's running out of memory. It can't hold that many values. Uh, 50 plus 10, guys. Oh, I'm just joking. 60, hey? Okay, so it's 60. Um, and then, cos 60 is a special angle. Go ahead, type it on the calculator, and it'll give you a half. Let's move on. Let's keep practicing these. We've still got another two more. This one and this one. Okay, so this one has a sin and a cos. Okay, so it can't be this one because the only one, and, and it can't be this one, because this one has a cos cos. But we're looking for a sin cos. So here we see a sin cos, here we see a sin cos. So which one do we choose? Well, have a look here, there's a minus. Ah, so we look at that, there's a minus. Okay, so we can squash this one or take that one away. So what does the answer become? Well, if you look here, it's got a sin. Then they tell us, please open a bracket. So we open a bracket. So what goes in the bracket? Well, it starts with alpha, which is this part here, which in our scenario is a T. See, there's a little T angle there. So we put a T, okay? Then there's a minus, so we put a minus. Then the next part is beta, which is this part here. So for us, that'll be 20. And there's the answer. Let's do one more. And well done if you've made it this far. You're awesome. Okay, so here we have a sin cos. Okay, so that means it won't be this one, and it won't be this one, and then it's got a plus in the middle. Here we've got a plus in the middle, so it won't be this one. Okay, so it's going to become sin, and then it says that, see, because we have this, right? We have that. Ours is just a 10, and a 20, and a 10, and a 20. So you see how um, it says that we must put alpha, so that's going to be a 10 plus, and then you must put a beta, which is a 20. And then that becomes sin 30. 30 is a special angle. Type it on your calculator and you get a half.